face me in more face. Count on deck. Man, the count on deck is 36, man. Half left, face. This section of the academy, like any other section, your folks seem especially out here on this gun range. Do not move unless they say move. You're dealing with firearms. You're dealing with firearms. And I'm telling you, if you do something or you touch a weapon that they didn't say this, they're going to kick you off the range. Because you're dealing with firearms. Take your time. Yeah, but even the questions, ask them. I'd rather you ask the questions today and one day than when you're on the range and you, you, you didn't understand something fully. All right? It's not, it's not a hard weapon to shoot, 38, at all. All right? It's not hard. Hi, my name is Phil Berlingo. I'm really one of the coordinators at the Criminal Justice de Department at Palm Beach State College. I'm assigned to the corrections component. That was my class, class 142 you just saw. And the reason I'm uh, here speaking to you is we're trying to reach out to the high school communities, especially the Glades, and give the criminal justice students at Glades High School a, an opportunity to get certified as a correction officer in their senior year of high school. Um, we're trying to model this program after uh, Gadsden County, Florida. It was in, uh, in conjunction with the Pat Thomas uh, Academy in Tallahassee. Hopefully these students would go to uh, high school on their senior year, come to the college for a couple hours each day. Upon graduation, finish up with their high liability training and sit for the state exam, which is given every month. Uh, their state exam would be in July. After they complete the state exam, uh, if they pass it, uh, they can go out and find a job at any one of the prisons or jails in Florida. At the present, we have about four institutions within 50 miles of Glades High School. Hi, my name is Tara Sanford. I'm an alumni of Glades Central Community High School. I graduated in the year 2006. I went on to college at Florida Atlantic University where I graduated with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. I graduated from the criminal justice program here, which is a four-year magnet program. And now I work for the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office as a deputy sheriff. There's no better feeling. You can't get the feeling from where else can you get the challenge that you get on a daily basis on top of helping your community. It's just such an overwhelming feeling. My name is Mark Chamberlain. I'm a captain with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, presently the commander of the West Detention Center. Well, it's always been kind of a, a known thing in the Glades. You either go to play in the NFL, you go work at the sugar mill, or you go work in a prison or a jail setting, or you become a deputy sheriff or a corrections officer for the state. So it's one of the things out here that uh, has sustained this community for a long, long time and will continue to do so. It's vital that we have people that are prepared to take on the responsibility as a corrections officer that have been properly trained. Um, it's a different world when you walk inside of a jail or a prison setting. So having that uh, educational background and good training is vital. Uh, my name is Chris Keene. I am a lieutenant with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office assigned to the West County substation in the Glades. Behind us is a construction that is expanding our jail and law enforcement substation um, expected to be completed sometime in uh, late October of 2010. Uh, what you're looking at is a significant expansion of our correctional facility we're expecting uh, to go from approximately 200 beds to over 900 beds. Um, because of that large increase, we're going to be needing uh, additional correctional deputies uh, for that expansion. The way the system is set up is we have a 64 to 1 inmate to deputy sheriff ratio. So for every 64 inmates that will be in this new facility, we'll need at least one deputy to watch them. Multiply that times three because we have three shifts running. Um, we'll have an increase in our medical staff, we'll have an increase in our food service staff, and obviously an increase in our sworn ranks and non-sworn ranks. Uh, one of the things that we recognized several years ago in the Glades is that we want to keep Glades area youth and talent in the Glades. And we started a couple years ago recruiting and looking for young men and women who would be able to stay in the profession of law enforcement stay in the Glades, then reinvest in the community by buying homes and having a family here. And we believe that would be an upward spiral for the Glades community and a strong uh, positive for the Sheriff's Office. I'm Deputy Sheriff Edward Mayo at Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. I graduated 
Glade Central High School in 2002, where I did four years in the criminal justice program. I then worked for the University of Florida for two years before I went to Palm Beach County, Palm Beach Community College. It was a lot easier transition from high school to college. It, uh, it, it I, I knew what I was getting into before I got there. I uh, did take several classes afterwards, and I knew what to expect. It wasn't, it wasn't completely new to me. Um, and I knew most of the people there also. It wasn't like transferring to a different school. It was just sliding right on in and made a very easy transition. I've been working with the Sheriff's Office now for four years and three months, and uh, I love it. it uh, the benefits and the pay, they're best in the county. The, uh, this agency really takes care of you, and uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. If you have any interest in criminal justice at all, this program is your ticket. You learn investigative skills, you learn crime scene processing, you learn traffic stops, you learn everything that you're going to need to actually use on the street, and you get to have fun too. I went through the Criminal Justice Academy four years at Glade Central in Belglade. Um, I actually liked it. It was pretty good, um, especially our coordinator, Mr. LaCobbs, Scott LaCobbs. Uh, he's a great instructor. He really loves his job, what he does. He introduced most of us that were in the academy um, to a lot of things like the criminal field, um, very different varieties of the criminal field that a lot of us didn't even know existed to be truthful. I Basically everyone that I went to the academy with, half of the academy was from the Glades, um, Bell Glade, Pahokee, South Bay. Um, it, it's a small knit group in the Glades that we all stick together in the Glades. I love it in the Glades. It's, it's a small place to be because there's not many jobs at all. So I was thankful that I got the job that I did with DOC. So. Well, the standards for uh, dual enrollment are higher than for the average student. We'd like to get the top percentage of the uh, dual enrollment program um, due to the fact that um, we have to have a certain personality, certain uh, background, certain person to be in law enforcement. Uh, you just can't do what the other kids do. You can't do what the other adults do. You're held to a higher standard. I was in dual enrollment for two years. The, the college dual enrollment that led me into the police academy shortly thereafter, it was excellent. Oh, it's a tremendous success. It feels great. It gives you, it allows you the, the mobility and the time to grow. You know, whereas you're not so stressed out about, you know, I got to go to school and I got to go back to college and I got to get this done and I got to get that done. It kind of allows you a little bit of room to grow. I was hoping we did have it my senior year. Um, because I knew if I'd have had it my senior year, I'd have been leaps and bounds ahead of where I am now. Because I'd have had more time to get to know the field, get to know certain things about the field, learn certain things that i learned on the job. So I believe I would have had a big advantage at that. Corrections uh, is a honorable field. Uh, it is, it's a, it's a necess necessity, excuse me. Uh, we provide a service to the community that uh, is rarely seen, but it sure is felt. Uh, the reason why you, uh, you know, young people uh, sleep so well at night is because of the, the protection that uh, correctional officers provide. And having a program started this early uh, to identify and start getting them training. Training is vital. Uh, training is, is a necessary part and it's so, it's so ironic that uh, I get to be speaking as a training administrator uh, because we recognize uh, in my corporation that training is, is actually fundamental and if we're able to train uh, earlier then we get a better product you get, a, you get just a, a more polished, uh, finished product, and you get a person that realizes that this is just pretty much the start. We provide opportunity, uh, this will be providing an opportunity for that young person to uh, have that stepping stone to, to further enhance their career, uh, seeing as how they may start off with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, they may work in corrections, they may decide to switch to uh, uh, road patrol, law enforcement side, the, uh, the uh, road side, uh, up all the way up. Uh, that's even funnier because I have a son uh, attending Glade Central. 
and he was actually in that criminal justice class at, at Glade Central. And his whole ambition uh, since starting that program was to end up either a U.S. Marshal or with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So this, this uh, program, uh, if I were addressing the school board, I've been able to see the benefits of it personally, on a personal note, watching my own son develop ambitions and career and researching uh, how to follow along and to pursue a career in law enforcement. Uh, and that, that's, that's pretty much what I would be saying.